What's up guys? How was Shiro Toy Reviews doing another somewhat figure review, more of a showcase sort of thing. Um, this time we are talking or looking at uh, Transformers Prime Wheeljack um, Custom. <laughs> um, so I think I've talked about it. I think I talked about it in my uh, Grimwing uh, review. I I love Prime. I, I did really enjoy Transformers Prime. Um, I mostly kind of watched it through Netflix because when it originally aired, I really didn't have the hub. So, yeah. And I really didn't really start getting the toys till the end of the series, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, I, I kind of got into it towards the tail end of the series. Um, but over the years, of course, I've gotten more familiar and of course, you know, I got um, familiar with the characters and the prime version of Wheeljack really appealed to me. Um, I know some fans are kind of like meh about the type of character he was and how he was kind of the opposite of his character from um, um, G1. And I do like the G1 Wheeljack. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll get him. I'll get I'll get the I may get the G1 toy. Or I'll get the Siege one that came out, what, last year, I think. Um, but yeah, I just really like the aesthetic and the design of this toy. Um, like I said, this one is custom. So this one comes with uh, the custom, a custom unmasked face. Um, let's see how well you guys can see it. Um, you know, a custom unmasked face. And it looks really nice. Um, of course, he has light piping, so that's nice. So he has blue eyes. Probably won't come in that well on camera or video. Um, yeah, I just dig this figure. Um, like I said, the character in the show was cool. Um, I guess one thing that really made this version of the character appeal to me was he kind of reminded me... <laughs> of Samus a little bit, except, of course, Samus is a bounty hunter, but, you know, kind of like that lone warrior type of concept and the fact that he had his own, you know, his own spaceship, um, which got a toy, surprisingly, and um, then the Cyberverse line called the Starhammer. Um, I'll definitely get that at some point as well, because, um, like I said, that, that kind of reminds me of Metroid. Like, as a Metroid fan, I'm like, dang... I would love to have something like that, but with Samus and her spaceship. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty, yes, yeah, like it's pretty cool. He, he just really appealed to me. He reminded me of Samus. Um, I just liked, I just liked the aesthetic of this figure. Um, as you can see, um, mine, like I said, I got this pre-owned. So mine um, has Autobot, an Autobot sticker on his chest and on the back of him when he's in vehicle mode, as you see right here. Um, so something I didn't notice with this figure when I was watching like toy reviews and stuff of him is that he did not come with a uh, Autobot sticker, which I thought was really interesting or Autobot insignia. So I wonder if that was done on purpose or if that was done by accident. But you think that would be a fairly big accident for the designers not to put an Autobot logo on him. But I actually kind of like that um, idea, or honestly, that little detail. But um, yeah, like I said, the face sculpt is nice. This uh, face sculpt is from the Dr. Wu um, upgrade kit. I think I think they're still around. Um, so it's fairly hard to get a hold of nowadays, um, unless someone was just selling their figure with the accessories already included. That's probably the best way to get it, since that's how I got mine. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, I just like the detail on the figure, and I like kind of the Spanish colors, like the Mexican flag, red, white, and green. Um, he is kind of stocky, but that was kind of how his character was in the show. Like I said, I like his facial expression. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was two, um, <coughs> excuse me, upgrade kits made. Um, one, this one, which came with the face and a grenade that he used in the show. I haven't seen that episode where he, he used it. Um, 
And the second upgrade kit had show accurate swords, of course, a face, the arm, the arm cannon, and maybe a few other things. Um, really wish this figure came with that. I got the second. I wish I, I this figure came with the second upgrade set, but oh well. Uh, maybe one day I'll I'll be able to get that one as well. Um, I also saw randomly someone made an upgrade kit for the Cyberverse version with the arm cannon and show accurate swords. So uh, that's pretty cool. A lot of upgrade kits for uh, Wheeljack, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, like I said, the bomb or the grenade, it would be, you, could, you would be able to store it on his waist. Unfortunately, when I took mine out, I was trying to remove it and it broke. I tried to super glue it back and I couldn't get it to glue back. So unfortunately, mine broke. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like in this little baggy, this little plastic I put it in. Um, so it was a nice accessory, <laughs> but like I said, I, I really just wanted the face, so I'm not too bummed about it. Uh, and if you guys were wondering, this sword came with, um, this figure. Well, this sword did not originally come with this figure. The seller had it, just had a display with the, with the figure and they sold it to me or whatever. Um, it was in the listing. So this sword originally went to Drift, I think from Genera Transformers Generations toy line, um, but it, it does fit, and this is a really, this is a really awesome sword, um, but it does fit the Wheeljack uh, character from Prime, so, you know, that's a dope bonus. Uh, he comes with two swords, which unfortunately are kind of warped, but you know, this figure is almost 10 years old, so I can live with it. Um, and I bought them loose, so, you know, you take chances when you buy loose figures. Well, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, he looks clean. He looks awesome. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but, and he also has little, um, probably can't see it too well. He has little, uh, inscriptions like little inscriptions on the lower half of his swords, which is a really nice touch. Um, but yeah, he looks awesome. I love characters who wield dual weapons. Um, I just think that's a cool concept for characters to have, like uh, Grimwing or Optimus Primal, that I naming the characters I have, other Transformer characters I have. Um, uh, Slug, Strafe. You know, the Dinobots, uh, like I said, I like it. I just love when characters, Kratos, I used to have Kratos in my collection. I love when characters have dual weapons. Um, so, yeah, uh, Wheeljack. Um, like I said, I still think this figure holds up. Very solid representation of Wheeljack. I think he's fun to pose. And transformation wasn't too difficult. Um... I'm not going to bother to transform this figure because A, it's old, and B, I have, <laughs> I have another figure. Yes, I bought two wheel jacks. One reason, um, I wanted uh, both figures. I wanted the unmasked face and the masked face, so I had to buy two different figures. Um, the sword that I showed, the drift sword, originally came with this figure. Um, so, yeah. And um, this figure was originally, the head, the masked head was originally on this body. And I swapped it out with the custom head. So he would be more, you know, cartoon accurate. Um, but yeah, so I bought two for reason, for those reasons. Um, so because of that, I'm not going to show the transformation. You're Honestly, you're not missing anything. <laughs> um but yeah, the vehicle mode is very nice. I dig it a lot. Um, the red, white, and green is cool. Um, the detail on them is nice. Really quick, I will show because he has some. He has weapon storage in vehicle mode. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember how though. How you store these? Well. I don't remember how you store them on um, 
on the inside, but we'll show you how he looks with them stored like this, which looks a little silly, but I do like it. It kind of look like, it, it does kind of look like a, like tusk, like an elephant. I do like that. It, yeah, it's silly, but it's cool. I, I dig it. And you see the swords are warped, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, just a solid figure. This makes me want to get more real jacks. <laughs> Having, having this figure in my collection. Um, so yeah, because like I said, I really liked the, the aesthetic of this figure, but I really didn't want him without the maskless face. So yeah, but he's solid. Um, so yeah, I absolutely recommend him if you're interested. Like I said, me personally, I, I prefer him without the mask on. Um, so if you can find him without the mask, uh, I mean, if you can find him, yeah, without the mask, I say get him. Just to probably make sure the price is reasonable. Um, yeah, and him having the sword, it uh, really adds to this version of Wheeljack. So, uh, let's see. So, yeah, that's it for this review. Um, like I said, highly recommend them. Glad to have them in my collection. Oh yeah, because this is the only other Prime character I have. Here he is next to Grimwing. Of course, Grimwing is taller, as he should be. <laughs> um, but yeah, next review, um, I will probably be reviewing, um, another Transformer, of course. Maybe a, maybe a few Legend figures. Which will kind of be just brief reviews, but you know, I still don't, I still wouldn't mind talking about those the legend figures. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace, you guys.